What's up guys? This is Aaron from Wine Cult and welcome to another Bottle Breakdown. Today we're talking about the 2019 Naturaleza Salavaje uh, Grenacha from Azul y Garanza. Now I know you're all down with Spanish reds, so this is going to be a good one. But first, make sure to hit that like button because you can never have too much Spanish wine. This is a 50% Granacha and 50% Granacha Blanca blend from Navarra, Spain. Uh, a reminder for my French and California wine aficionados, Granacha is the very same Grenache that so many of you have adopted as a more affordable alternative to Pinot Noir. Azul y Garanza is a project founded by Danny Sanchez, Maria Verena, and Fernando Verena. These are three fanatically talented winemakers who just fell in love with some really incredibly unique old vines in a preserved habitat inside the Bardenas Reales National Park in Navarra, which is in Northeast Spain. Now, the winemaker trio are committed to sustainable farming practices. And in fact, uh, they dry farm their grapes, forcing the vines to survive on groundwater, rainwater alone, which you'll see in a moment is pretty remarkable. Their Grenache vines, as I have teased, were discovered growing wild in a literal desert. So these grapes really struggle in the raw and fertile soils, and in the end, they produce highly concentrated grapes with a really true sense of place and flavor. Uh, now, the perspective of Azuli Granza is that monoculture farming is, is bad for the planet, and I, I think there's something to be said there, certainly. Uh, besides the obvious lack of diversity, monoculture uh, strips soils of nutrients that are needed for other plants to survive. And it also requires large amounts of water, chemicals, and fossil fuels to make it work. Uh, that's why these vines are really so exciting. In this relatively untouched habitat, they're dry farmed with as little intervention as possible, and they're surrounded by essentially a panoply of native insects, birds, wildlife, and desert scrub. And all of this has an impact on the vines. In the glass with this wine, you'll find a deep ruby color with aromas of candy, cherry, violets, rosemary, and coriander, uh, notes of cedar and campfire, and that all leads into red licorice, forest floor and sage, and other forms of desert herbs. It's a very interesting wine. There's a lot going on here. Uh, now this wine is getting just a beautiful aromatic lift from the Grenache Blanco without sacrificing any of the rugged, deep plumminess of its red sibling. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.